Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about a technique called scraffito. Scraffito is a scratching technique that's often used in ceramics with glazes and is really similar in some ways to scratching through an etching ground to reveal the copper plate underneath, only here we're not going to be using any acid. The materials that you need for this are really, really simple. You just need some sturdy weight paper. So this is uh, something, it's really like printmaking or drawing paper. Um, colored pencils, I have a variety of colors. You can use oil pastels or you can use crayons, but I've found that Prismacolors give the richest color. You're also gonna need some black acrylic paint. And what I'm actually using is screen printing ink and it works great. Um, something that's going to dry to a matte finish is probably going to be better than something that's going to dry to a high gloss. Although I have found that the Speedball water soluble block printing ink works pretty well for this too. Um, and that dries kind of glossy. But I think the best results that I've had are with the screen printing ink. Um, so you should just do some tests and see what, what works. There's some things that work really well and then others that don't. So give it a try. And then you're going to need something to scratch through the paint with. Um, I have a couple of different tools here. This is just a T-pin that has some tape around it, so it's a little easier to hold. I have an etching needle, and I have an X-Acto knife, and this is what I actually prefer to use for this. So I've started already to go through and just color in. I'm just doing a circle here. You can do a, a drawing with a landscape or an animal or a portrait or something like that. i am just been doing some really simple abstract designs. So you want to start by drawing and just having as, as dense of a layer of pigment as you can get. So it's really important if you don't want a grainy texture to cover the, the paper with as much of the pigment as you can. Okay, once you get your paper covered with pigment, then it's time to paint a layer of acrylic over the top. And you don't want a super thick coat, you just want something that's sufficient to make an even cover over the color. If it's too thick, it can make it difficult to scratch through or it wants to pull off big chunks, which is probably not what you want. Ah, my circle is becoming slightly distorted. It's all right. Okay. So I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry completely before I go any farther with that. I do have uh, one that's ready to go that I prepared a little while ago. So this one is ready to scratch off. Um, again, you can use any of these. I prefer the X-Acto, but I'm going to show you the other two as well. And I'm just scratching off the top layer of the acrylic and it's revealing the color underneath. needle 
takes off a slightly thicker line, this particular one that I have. Uh, and you can just do a solid removal. If you want to do something that's a little bit more bold. But this is a really great technique for those of you that um, enjoy drawing and like to get different kinds of textures and details. Uh, you can do cross hatching. Sort of build up your textures. And it's really fun to see the colors revealed underneath. Every time I've done this, and I've done several of these, it's been a really pleasant surprise each time. Move it a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. And this was one that I did earlier today. 